So in our last video, we traveled through and around the core of Salzburg. Now we are going to enjoy seeing it from higher up and travel along the north side of the river. Just around the corner from the end of the Getreidegasse street is the elevator that will take you up on the Munchberg. The Munchberg is a wooded ridge 500 meters high that overlooks the downtown of Salzburg with Hohen Salzburg at one end of it. It was named Munchberg after the monks of a nearby Benedictine Abbey. It runs along the south side of the river Salzach and has a plateau of meadows and woods which make it a great place to get away from the hustle and bustle of downtown. At the top of the elevator is a restaurant and beautiful lookout. There is also a museum at the top. All along the ridge of the Munchberg is a trail that is very enjoyable to walk right along the edge. There are also other trails that go back into the woods and here you would not realize you were right in the center of the city. The locals don't use the elevator as you must pay for it, but you can actually get up on the Munchberg from different directions and it is an amazing place to take a relaxing walk or jog and enjoy the views of the city. It is a popular recreational space for locals and popular with tourists as well. From the Munchberg, we are going to travel along the river to a place called Mirabel. It was built for Prince Archibald Retinot's mistress around 1600. It was damaged by a fire in 1818. The architect, Peter Noble, gave it its present look. Today it is used by the mayor of the city and a place where people get married. The Marble Hall is the most popular place inside the palace and is considered one of the most romantic wedding halls in the world. While the interior is impressive, the gardens are also a great display of beauty. Just outside the front doors is the Pegasus Fountain. If you go across and up a few steps, you come to the Dwarf Gardens created in 1715. The kids really enjoy it. The gardens are very formal but beautiful with thousands of flowers. You can enjoy a walk through a long arch hedge or visit the Rose Garden. As you reach the middle of the garden, there is a beautiful fountain and you can see Hohen Salzburg in the background. I really enjoy spending some time here with camera in hand as it is so beautiful. As you leave the Maribel Gardens, not far ahead is the Kapitzinerberg. This forested mountaintop is a popular recreation area for locals, but it also has some special things for tourists as well. From the Linzergasse Street, you can take a narrow steep street up to the top. As you go, you pass the Stations of the Cross, and at the top is the Kapitziner Kirche. If you walk past the church, you come to a lookout at the top of the Bastille Weg, where you get a unique view of the downtown across the river, with the Hohen Salzburg Fortress at the top. It is a great place to get a picture in the early morning or just before dark. The Kapitzinerberg has fortification walls all around it that are 400 years old and quite unique to see. The Bastiweg Trail winds its way along the fortification walls and is quite charming though it can be steep 
and challenging in places. At the top of the mountain is the Franziski Schloss or, or palace. It has some great food and is wonderful to take in if you book ahead and are up for a good hike. It is also a popular wedding venue and excursion destination. You can book a shuttle up to it if the hike is too much. There are all kinds of other places that you may want to see while you're in Salzburg that we are unable to talk about here. Some of them are the Festspielhaus or Festival Theater, the Ferdischwemme Fountain, and numerous churches, government buildings, museums, and amazing architecture everywhere you look. Salzburg is a place you can't get enough of and a favorite place of mine to visit. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.